and welcome to the Redpath Consulting Group demo of Salesforce Lightning. This is the new user interface that Salesforce has now released and made available to the public if you are currently using Salesforce. And while it does look different, it's because it is. Uh, it's quite a bit different, so we thought, why not help you out with making a video and showing you where everything is. So I'm going to take my time today to kind of go through where do you find things that you're usually used to seeing, maybe some of the new features, and just kind of the overall functionality of it. So in saying that, you know, let's get started. One of the biggest things too that I just think I should start with is, you know, how do you turn your lightning on or how do you get to it if it is turned on, I guess basically is what I'm saying is because right now what you're doing is looking at me in lightning and maybe when you open up your org, you're already in it, but I figured I'd at least let some of you know that are in classic mode, how do we get to that? So in classic mode, you might see that you have a user icon up here, but I'll switch back to classic just to kind of help out with that. So we'll switch back. And for those of you that might still be used to this older interface and working in it, where you're going to go is straight up to your name and then go to switch to lightning experience. This is going to give you the ability to switch now into the lightning UI that Salesforce is now slowly moving to. Just wait a moment here and just kind of let it come in. So now we're in lightning. We're starting off here at the home page where it's going to have the same, you know, information that you would have seen in classic mode, but now in a new format and displayed in a much uh, different way. A couple of things to note right off the back. Notice the tabs up top. They're gone. So you can just move to the side. So if you're looking at the side and you roll through these, well, you might not see the names next to them. You can hover over them and you will see it. So you know we're on our home page, so we're at home. Opportunities, leads, tasks, files, accounts, contacts, it's all here. Anything that you would have had before as the standard objects, those are being placed on the side. And if you click out the little expand option over here, you're going to see the full list of names. So that way, at least um, if you can't remember the icons or what they are, click that button and you will see the remainder of what's out there. A couple things to note is if you did have custom tabs that you were originally using in your old UI, they're not going to show here. Um, but we'll go through how to get to that here in a bit. So. One of the standard things of the Lightning interface and that you'll start to kind of notice as a main theme is you're always going to have the, the side information off here to the right and then the core information right here in the middle. And instead of actually scrolling down pages, for the most part, it actually should be held right in the middle. And as we're kind of going through some of the information, I'll kind of show that. So to get started, you know, why not let's just look at an opportunity and see what we got here. So we'll go to our opportunities. And I'm just going to pick a random opportunity here that we got. So we're on the opportunity and you can probably already notice that there's a few things that are different. One, rather than actually having a, a stage drop down across the top here, this is where your stages now appear for opportunities. So instead of clicking a drop down as you would have in the old interfaces, you're actually going to be moving it along this sales track until we get to closed one. You have the ability to change the close stage here or just simply click and drag across the top. Now the related objects, while they for some objects will be still at the bottom or on another page, you're going to see that a lot of the related objects are now actually showing on the right. So our opportunity contact roles, opportunity teams, maybe any products, um, then any custom objects that you had created, those are now actually being shown on the right side rather than in the middle. In the middle, on at least opportunities, we kind of start with the bare bones information. So, you know, do we have, want to have any activity on this opportunity? If you do have the collaborate function on here, uh, you will have your chatter abilities to post directly right here. And then the details. This is actually where the heart and the core of the opportunity now lives. So rather than simply clicking an opportunity and you get to directly all the information, you're now going to actually click on this details section. Once we click on that, now here's probably all the information that you're used to seeing within, uh, excuse me, within a uh, an opportunity. So the opportunity name, the account it's being linked to, um, and then any other custom fields that maybe you have in place. And here you do have the stage one, our marked as closed one, and you could still edit it here. But as we stated earlier, you have the ability to actually click and drag across the top. But as you see here, you know, top and bottom, they're pretty much the same where they are. And everything's going to be living here right in the middle. And this is where you're going to see the nitty and gritty of your information. So no matter what object you're on, whether it starts on activity or starts in details, if you're looking for 
the detail information, you need to make sure you're now clicking on this details button. Just to kind of reiterate that, I'll go to say accounts, click on this test account, and again, in this instance, on an account, a related actually shows right away here in the middle. And on the right, we have the activity. And this is going to change from object to object. So you need to make sure that when you're looking for something, you see which icon here is highlighted. So if we're here on accounts, when we first click on it, we know that it is the related information. But again, if we're looking for the, the actual details of you know, what's this account name, um, who's the owner, everything like that, we need to click on the details. This will then get us all of our kind of information. So whether it's the standard fields, the custom fields we've created, the description of information, address, everything like that, that is under details. So remember, that's going to be key. The difference of selecting which one of these you're on to get what you're actually looking for. And then obviously the, the edit function up here, um, this, you can just edit the record as a whole. And this is actually going to kind of pop out that main details section and bring it to you front and center. And this is where you're pretty much just entering, scrolling, entering, scrolling, but it's all going to be in a centralized location. Along with that, you obviously have the delete functionality still available to you. Now, one thing I didn't quite cover right away is, you know, when you are clicking on an object, whether it's accounts, opportunities, leads, is the new view of the um, list views. Looks fairly similar as far as where here's a list of what you get, but the drop downs look a little different. Starts automatically and recently viewed just as it would with the old UI, but by clicking that drop down, we're now going to see all of our list view options that we have made previously. So, just like as we had um, in the old interface, if we go to a new list view, I'll close one opportunities. This should now filter based on what we had, and it's pulling in our closed one opportunities. If you are looking to have your new list view controls or edit, you now have that capability as well, just as you did on the old interface with this little settings icon. Click that, and then it's going to give you the ability to edit your list filters, create a new one, rename it, delete it, whatever it may be. You have that option. The other thing I want to point out is these new icons here off to the right. We've got the, the grid for the Kanban. These are just going to pretty much change the, the view and how you're seeing things. Obviously the refresh here, so if you do need it to, to refresh or if you know somebody's maybe updated figures on another opportunity you want to refresh, you've got that option. Charts, you can instantly on the page have a couple of charts here that you can look at. So rather than having to actually go to your reports, you can look at some reports just based off the list views you're currently looking at. That is a one uh, very new feature. And then the ability to just simply show the filters so you know kind of what is this filter or this list view being based off of. And here it's going to show you what that is. So that's really the, the basics trying to go over the, the new interface of the Salesforce old UI compared to Lightning. One thing we haven't touched on though that I mentioned earlier is your custom tabs. Where are my custom tabs? There's a couple ways to get to them. If you're, if you're looking for an object that you know is of a custom object where you typically had a tab for it, you do have the ability to search for it. So in our case, there might have been, um, was there was invoices. Maybe we had that as an initial tab. In searching, we can now search for the invoice itself. So that's going to get you to it. The other options that I want to point out here is this button up here, the app launcher, especially if you had created your own custom apps, which were housing these custom tabs, this is going to be the quickest way for you to get to those custom tabs. So by going up here to this app launcher, you're now going to see, um, or you would see all of your custom apps here if you did have them built out. So say in a case like us, where we have a, a project management custom app that we've designed um, to help us you know, work with our projects and our opportunities, if I click on this project management, now I see the items that are associated with this. And these are all custom objects in which we have created, and these were tabs originally in the old UI. Um, this can be a few more clicks for you, but if you're looking to actually get to these specific items, this is where it would be. So for myself, how I used to have maybe an hours tab, 
sitting across the top of my Salesforce. If I do want to get to it, I do need to go to the app launcher, find that um, app uh, that we had placed those custom tabs in, and then I can simply get to hours. And then from here, I can either see the list of hours from recently viewed, create a new one, um, whatever that may be. So the big thing to remember there is that if you do have custom objects with custom tabs, you do need to find different ways to locate them or start with an account or an opportunity and kind of work your way down. So all in all, those are the big new experiences with the Lightning interface. The last one is really the reports. And with the reports, while the interface might be a little different, um, really the report should still be functioning the same and um, possibly even looking a bit more uh, pretty for you. But if we were to look at all reports, you know, click on a report here. Let's see if we can find one that would work. You know, just accounts by owner, just to kind of give you a brief overview of what it's going to be looking like. So here with the accounts by owner report, um, while we don't have a ton of data in here in our sandbox, you can see that at least what the report's going to look like in the bulk of the report. We'll still show in the middle here where the information should be, should be the same as what you had within the old UI, just displayed a little bit differently. And this is kind of the same concept even for the dashboards where if we're looking at a dashboard, the report functionality should still be the same. It's just going to be that the, um, the way it's presented or the way it may look is going to be looking different. So, you know, the chart, um, sorry, the, uh, the gauge charts look a little bit different. If I go back to my home page, look at some of the other charts that were shown up here, like the, the quarterly performance um, charts, very similar, um, just displayed in a much more uh, clean looking matter. And really the last thing that needs to be touched on is, you know, that of chatter and basically, you know, where is it and what's it going to look like? So if we go down to here, this option, we have the feed and this is now where your chatter feed lives. So as you are chattering with somebody, um, or you have chatter groups, or you're talking back and forth between somebody on an opportunity, um, as long as you're being taken in, it's going to function the same way, whereas your, app, um, your activity, your newsfeed will be showing here. Same things can be done. You can post to the group, you can enter a poll, you know, like what would the question be? Who wants to go grab pizza after work? You know, maybe throw some fun in there, see what can happen. We've got this out there. Now we've got the poll generated, and this is going to be just like it was with your old UI, but now with the new user interface on Lightning. Hopefully this did a good job of at least covering the basics, you know, of, of what's new, where to find things, and what to expect when you're using the new Lightning interface. You know, and get out there and play around with it. And as we stated in the beginning, there's always the opportunity to switch back. Just go to your top right, switch back to Classic if you're having trouble finding something, find out where it is and then switch it back to Lightning and see if you can get it in there then the next time. So again, this was Red Path Consulting Group giving you a little Lightning demo walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to reach out to us with any of your questions.